In today's Deep Web Tips, we're going to cover two things. By now, your browser as well as your operating system may be out of date and need to be updated. So we'll go ahead and get those updated. And the second thing is, is I'm going to show you how you can find and locate dark websites or .onions websites. Uh, because the network is anonymized and secret, it can be awfully difficult to track down information. So let's go ahead and get started. So your Tor browser as well as your operating system are probably out of date as mine are. Uh, these, there's a lot of updates that come out. Often the Ubuntu will have new updates coming out every day or every few days. It's important that you stay on top of these because the updates usually are security related. And if this is your burner box that you're doing exploitation around dark web, you definitely want to have the most recent security patches. So as you can see, my operating system is, up, is out of date as well as my Tor browser. And it's important that you keep them both up to date. Uh, after a couple minutes when you log in, Ubuntu is going to pop up a message like this that says uh, upgrade now. Uh, if this doesn't come up, you can always click up here and type in updates and click the software update. And that'll bring up a, a window that's similar to this one that says upgrade. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the upgrade now button. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and start the video once this finishes because it's going to take a few minutes. All right, so that took about 10 to 15 minutes to complete, but my Ubuntu is completely updated. Uh, now, you may get asked to reboot your machine. Uh, didn't ask, ask me to reboot mine, uh, but it does depend on the releases and whether or not it needs to reboot to get everything updated. In my case, it also updated the Tor browser as part of the Ubuntu operating system update because it was registered within the package. Uh, that may or may not happen for you. If it doesn't, you just simply need to follow the instructions within the Tor. You'll see a little option right here that says check Tor browser. Uh, for updates, uh, if you click that, uh, which is where that arrow was pointing earlier, it's going to do this and it's going to say, hey, in my case, no updates. In your case, it's going to say there is an update. Uh, click here to update uh, and then just follow the prompt. So super easy, just like updating anything else. All right, now that we have everything upgraded, uh, I'm going to show you a few websites that list .onion URLs. Uh, now keep in mind the uh, the Tor network doesn't really have a Google, uh, if you will. There's a lot of other kind of services or wikis or little indexes. There's just not this one uh, grand place that you go to. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, kind of digging and extra work that has to take place. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of the common ones that are indexes. This one, thehiddenwiki.org, is one of the larger ones. Uh, this has a lot of the most recent Tor.onion uh, URLs to a lot of these dark web indexes and websites. So for example, up at the very top, uh, DuckDuckGo, which we talked about earlier, uh, has a specific URL uh, on the .onion site. So we can go ahead and click that, and this will take you to the Tor version of DuckDuckGo. Now keep in mind some of these sites are extremely slow. It depends on a lot of factors, but because we're doing that additional navigation through multiple nodes, it can take a lot longer than your regular website. So the one thing that you'll notice, and we talked about this previously, is that the uh, dark web sites are all end with a .onion. So instead of a .com or .edu or .org, they end with this .onion uh, top level domain. And that's how you can distinguish them. So these websites you cannot get to without using the Tor browser. Uh, if you were to go to that with a regular Firefox or Chrome, uh, you're just going to get an error because it can't locate it. Uh, but that's how you can distinguish whether or not you can get to a website or, uh, as part of the Tor browser or just through your regular browser. So scrolling through this index, you'll see all kinds of things and you'll see a lot of uh, the references to Bitcoin and areas where you can buy things with Bitcoin. Uh, so here's an example of apples for Bitcoin. This is a Tor website where you can buy Apple uh, products uh, using Bitcoin. Now, I'll almost guarantee you none of these products are legitimate and I'm sure that you won't actually get what you're buying uh, for, but this is an example of websites that you can find within the Tor network. Uh, you'll see other sites as well, things like um, uh, Tor Bitcoin, um, passports, fake IDs, citizenships, uh, things like that. There's also a lot of uh, drug-related uh, .onion sites. Again, back because of the anonymization, it's just ripe for having those types of um, uh, products being sold. And then there's a lot of forums as well where you can find some uh, dark web data and information that maybe you wouldn't normally find on the surface web. And if you're looking for more of emerging .onion sites or things that are changing a lot, uh, Reddit does have a Reddit called Onions that has a lot more information and this tends to be a lot more up to date. Uh, you'll see a lot of this; these articles are updated or, or with new links. 
post it every few minutes or every few hours. Uh, so this is another spot if you're looking for something that maybe is emerging or something new that's being posted on the dark web. Uh, it may take a while to get into some of these, like the hidden wiki.org, where the dot onion site is meant to be, or the uh, reddit's dot onion uh, is meant to be more of a real-time conversation. So as things are changing, this is another good resource to look into. Just like with the regular surface web, you have to do a lot of digging in order to find what it is that you're looking for. Uh, and, and if you use a standard search engine, I mean DuckDuckGo is, DuckDuckGo is a good example. Uh, you can search things like dark web marketplaces and you'll find people that have listings or indexes of those different websites and marketplaces. You know, some of them are going to have some bizarre things on them, uh, like Bitcoin socks. Uh, and then also intertwined with uh, different drugs or drug paraphernalia or all kinds of illicit activity. Uh, so anyway, just use the dark web uh, as precaution. Uh, you never want to buy something specifically from these sites because you just don't have any idea what it is that you're getting into or what you're getting. And a lot of these sites shut down uh, and move very, very frequent. So a URL that may exist today may not even exist tomorrow. So that concludes our video, and it also concludes our series on the Tor browser and building a burner box within a virtual machine. Hope you enjoyed that series. We're gonna switch over and we're gonna talk a little bit more about research and using things like the advanced search option within Google and DuckDuckGo in our next video. If you like this video, be sure to head over to our Deep Web University, where you'll find more videos, white papers, and articles about open source web harvesting for your business. I would also invite you to join our monthly newsletter, where we send out exclusive insights and partner updates. If you're ready to continue learning, I've got a couple videos already queued up for you. 